Good morning, holy comforters. Good evening, good afternoon, whenever it is you open this message. As I record this message today, I'm sitting in the most beautifully decorated church, absolutely gorgeous in preparation of our two services tonight uh, at 5 and 10.30. I hope you were able to attend one of them uh, to worship with us or uh, went online for the services and watched and worshiped with us via those efforts of David Day um, and Stan Williams. God bless them both. Uh, the programming is just gorgeous and beautiful and seamless. What a long, strange journey it has been for this whole year, for all of us. And I hope you were able to come tonight and thank God and bless God uh, for the care we have received from each other and from the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Comforter. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you, all those who prepared the building, all those that prepared the music, all those that prepared the liturgy, and all those um, who prepared the pageant for the joy-filled celebration of our dear Savior's birth. God bless you and thank you all. Uh, Saturday, Christmas Day, service at 10 a.m. Come as you are. Uh, wear your new Christmas sweater, your new Christmas socks, or haberdashery, but come as you are. 10 o'clock, Saturday, Christmas Day. Sunday, December 26th, the uh, Reverend Canon Ernest Graham will be our preacher and celebrant as Father George takes uh, a couple of days with my family uh, away. So thank you so much, uh, Canon Graham. Uh, God bless all of you on this first day. Sunday of Christmas. Hey, the annual meeting is just around the corner, Sunday, January 9th. Sunday, January 9th, uh, two Sundays from now, the election of vestry, election of delegates to diocesan convention, uh, up updates on mission and ministry plans for 2022, and the presentation of the budget that will fuel those plans. One service only January 9th at 10 a.m. at meeting with lunch provided directly afterwards. So Sunday, January 9th, one service, 10 o'clock, lunch provided, the annual meeting, election of vestry and delegates and presentation of the budget, mission and ministry plans for the future. Don't miss it. Hey, speaking of January 9th, there's two youth ministries be opportunities being offered that day. Uh, the first, to fifth grade and above, to Liberty Mountain in Virginia. Liberty Mountain uh, for five to 12th graders. Uh, snow trip, ski trip, have fun trip. God's creation children's formation activity will be here on campus uh, during the annual meeting uh, for the youngest children ages fourth grade and below. Um, with a chicken nugget lunch provided. Hey, can't beat that. Hope you'll get your kids involved in that way. Either one of those two activities, kids or grandkids, see Jocelyn Seyfried for that. And see Phil Savage for an update on the men's group. Thursday meeting is on hiatus at the moment for a Christmas break, but returns at the new Cobble Creek Rehabilitation Center at Twin Lakes, Thursday, January 6th. Thursday, January 6th, men's group returns on Thursday. See Phil Savage for further details. And a reminder that the church offices will be closed uh, the Monday following Christmas. That would be December 27th, Monday, December 27th. And again, the Monday following New Year's, that would be Monday, January 3rd, um, in keeping with parish tradition and our personnel policies uh, for care of our wonderful staff. God bless them all. And finally, God bless our happy birthday babies, our happy birthday Christmas babies, David Day and Jean Hogan. Happiest birthday ever to them and to that other 
birthday baby, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To all of you, God bless you, God be with you, and I'll see you in church. <laughs>